I'm Erin. Welcome back to our channel, Kendall's Adventures in Erin. We are so excited to talk about grandparents today. Yeah, Kendall. Mystery lollipop. Mystery lollipop. What? Who's I'm in the wall behind us, Kendall? Me. You. And all of our family. A little tribute to all of the people that we love. We wanted to talk about how important it is when your child stays at grandparents' house or also, I guess, there are a lot of kids being raised by grandparents and we do get a lot of help from all of our, all of our parents. Kendall's very fortunate to have sets on both sides and it's just really, really a great thing. She's got some great grandparents and it's just so special being able to spend that time with them. Some grandparents are in, my grandparents are in heaven. Some are in heaven and some are here. So what does that look like when your little one with hearing loss spends time with your parents or your spouse's parents? Do they understand fully how your child's hearing loss impacts their everyday life, their everyday learning? It's a really tricky, challenging thing to try to parent a parent but you have to be an advocate for your child and help them understand how to best rear your own kiddo with hearing loss. And some things that we have done with our parents, just giving them as much information as possible about her type of hearing loss and how she learns best. And, you know, I have mentioned in other videos how her sensory processing disorder kind of affects her everyday life and we give her the tools and tricks she needs to help her adjust and hopefully she won't have to have these deal with these issues as an adult or even as a teenager we hope but you know that's challenging it's a lot easier to throw in the towel than to face things head on but hearing loss is not an excuse for behavior and whether or not it is related to her hearing loss we need to navigate that as a team so we're going to include some things that we use, some some references. Put it in the... What? Nothing. Put um, some references in there and some guides to help you. And the description box. Description box. Can you say description? Description box. That's nice. Can you say that, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I just want to see your bow. Let's tape this out until we're done, okay? Almost done. <laughs> no. <laughs> Almost done. We pretty much are done, but, you know... It's, it is such a challenging thing. And again, we are so grateful. We are so blessed that, you know, everything just kind of worked out with me being a teacher and her, her little preschool program. She gets on a bus and I can meet her after no, school. No, not a bus, a van. A van, excuse me. <laughs> but there are days where I need a little bit of extra help and, you know, dad's working full time. So grandma and grandpa can go and, and pick her up and help me out on those half days or when I have conferences. And it's just so nice for her to be able to bond with them. And they have what had a lot bond of mean? bond means to form a special relationship with Barbie. Well, that's all we have on uh, grandparents today. But, you know, just think about those things that you think are important when you have your child at home, whether it's a schedule, you know, meal time, even bath time. Um, are there, you know, rituals you do before bed? Is reading important to you? Those things need to cross over when they're staying with your parents or your spouse's parents. It is really important. They're going to do what they... And not your step-parents. Yes. And they're going to do what they want to do. You, but... you, you talked like a step-parent when you said, yeah. Oh, I did? But ultimately, it's your child, so you need to be an advocate. Um, that's all we have for today. So we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow. <laughs>